Hello, I'm Marshall Trimble, official Arizona State historian, right alongside the Verde River in town of Jerome. It became a ghost town for a while. Then a man named Maynard Keenan in the mid-1990s came out to the wickedest city in the West, and there he met up with Yuri Kolomsky. By golly, they started growing grapes. No one in their right mind would plant a vineyard that's less than six acres just because financially it's just as easy to farm 100 acres as it is to farm 10 acres. So to, <laughs> to farm a half an acre is just kind of uh, silly. <laughs> you know, my perception of winemaking is that it helps humans get closer to the earth, especially if it's ushered to them in a way where they understand this wine came from here and that's why it tastes this way and why it smells this way. The more we appreciate something, the more opt we are to preserve it, protect it, and interact with it in a more positive way. I had a dream about being in Arizona, and I had no real interest in moving to Arizona. Just, of course, the first criticism that people have, isn't it? A desert isn't it full of cactuses and you know, cement, and the answer is not necessarily up here. And I fell in love with it right away, and it didn't take long for me to start having visions of grapes on these slopes. Arizona's my home, and my wines are an expression of a place that I call home. Today we're bottling Caduceus Premier Paso. This was the first wine Maynard ever conceived here with me at Page Spring Cellars. Tasting wine, testing barrels, putting blends together, that's all this artistic stuff. It's a lot of fun. Bottling is, is kind of the process that every winemaker rues. We want to welcome Maynard James Keenan and Eric Glomsky, founders of the Arizona Stronghold Vineyards, uh, here today. When you guys are picking the grapes, what exactly are you looking for? It's like writing a song. You just want to let the sounds happen in a room and, and go with whatever Arizona on this particular spot on the globe wants to offer up for flavors, that's what we're going to do. We let the grape speak for itself. Not only are we on a frontier here with regards to, you know, Arizona, but we're on kind of a frontier here with viticulture expressing this place that, that is Maynard's Vineyard. The location is special. The vineyard itself is special. It's worth taking the risk, basically. 